Um, the first time I recall encountering someone who talked to me about Jesus and God after I left foster care, I was in middle school and I was in ISS and I had to stay over and I remember this because it was very cold that day and it was snowing heavily and on my way home walking through the snow um, someone noticed me and they pulled up and asked me if um, I was okay and if I needed a ride and how far was I going and I didn't want to enter the car because I didn't know who they was but I was freezing so I jumped in the car and when I got in the car um, they were very nice um, they were asking me questions like uh, where are you coming from um, what's your name where are you headed and um, I told them where I wanted to be dropped off which was the Central Mall and on our way to the mall they asked me if I attended church and if I knew who Jesus was and you know, they just proceeded to tell me about their lives and um, who Jesus was and where they went to church and how they would love to have me there. Um, and when we pulled up to the Central Mall, uh, the gentleman turned around and looked at me and said, uh, here's some money. I'm go inside and buy you something warm to eat. And that was the first time I had encountered someone that talked to me about Jesus outside of foster care. Um, the other time that I can recall, there's several times events like this throughout my life that these things have happened, um, but one that stands out to me that got me to um, take a foot a step back into church was um, a gentleman that I worked with. He really wasn't a Christian, um, but he had Christian friends and he invited me to come and hang out with him and his friends. And as I hung out with them, I hung out with them more and more. And the more I hung out with them, the more I hung out with his friends who loved Jesus. And in doing that, I got to see how they lived their life and how they loved other people and um, how they just were filled with joy. And that was a time that, you know, really stuck to me. I, w I wanted a piece of that. I wanted to live that kind of life. And so I talked, um, she wasn't my wife at the time, but I talked my wife into going to church. And as we got into church, we, we sort of, we really wasn't um, wanting to go into church. We wasn't all in quite yet. We were just coming Sunday here, Sunday there, but there were people in the church that God also put in our lives to walk us through this and to, to just um, better teach us who Jesus is and what it's like to be a Christian and um, there's just several people I could mention in the church that did that for us. And that's really what got us to uh, surrender ourselves um, to Jesus and start to come into church every week. And since then, we've been doing that. And in that process, we were filled with so much joy and so much love and so much happiness that outside of church, we wanted to share that any chance that we got. And one of those chances I recall was a gentleman, um, a gentleman named Bill. Um, he wasn't our focus. We met him at Matter Park. And there was these children that were outside playing where we were having a family get together. And that was our focus. We seen these children and we wanted to just get them to church and um, tell them about Jesus. And that's what we did. But Bill was part of the package. He was uh, their babysitter. So we started taking them all to church and we started talking to them about Jesus. and we ended up with Bill. And Bill, he was not who we focused on, but that's 
who God gave us. And uh, we let this man um, come live with us. Um, we uh, tried to teach him how to uh, take care of his own finances, take care of himself, and be re more responsible with himself. And I, I truly think we were successful at that. Um, now, the story didn't end the way we wanted it to, but several months down the road, we did get to hear from Bill after he left, and he was living on his own, and he's doing great. So th that was good to hear. Um, that is just one way that I know me and my wife, when we got to know Jesus and who he was, that we were able to um, be God's hands and feet.